Jonathan, what can you tell us? Well, Brian, this is a story we've been actually following since going back all the way to 2019. That's when the Iron County School District decided to retire the Redman nickname. But since then, the school district says that change has brought a divide in the community after years and years of debate. I'm completely shocked. I thought when we graduated high school, we didn't need the mascot anymore, but it seems like that's not the case here. You can see people wearing the old Redmond mascot logo on their shirt during Tuesday night's Iron County School Board meeting. There was hours of public comment with differing opinions. Here's what the assistant coach of the Cedar High School boys varsity soccer team had to say. Just thinking about my kids that get harmed from other people, I don't think it's fair to make decisions when we knowingly are harming people whether or not that is our intent. The Reds logo, symbolized by a wolf mascot, can be seen in front of Cedar High School today, but so can the original Redman logo. The executive director of the Native American Guardians Association, a group advocating for a greater recognition of Native American heritage through high-profile venues of sports and other public platforms, says the name should have never been changed. There were just too many knees that, that bent to this you know, push to eliminate all um, native references to, to uh, eliminate all references to traditional norms. And we are very glad that the pushback against cancel culture is starting to take, take effect. The board decided the public will be voting on the issue. Right now, it's still being worked out if the vote can be held on the primary ballot or we'll need to wait for the general election later this year. At the end of the day, if this is left in the hands of the people versus the powerful, then we're happy that because the, the the people you know will speak in overwhelming majority fashion to keep it but the paiute indian tribe of utah has requested the board to not reinstate the name it was very disappointing in me to hear that individuals believe that derogatory word use like red man or red skin could be correlated with paying cultural respect to indigenous people um, when in fact this is a method of cultural appropriation. The district says they are not dismissing that request, but they add they're also wanting to acknowledge the harm that has been done to the community members who feel a connection to the name. When we had caught wind that the board was toying with the idea of re-bringing the name back of Redmond, um, a lot of us were caught off guard. When talks of changing the name were first brought up five years ago, ABC4 news teams heard this from some people in the community. I've read some of the reasons why, and I agree with it. I feel like um, if anyone's offended by that, then let's change it. District Superintendent Dr. Lance Hatch hopes this divide in the community can be eventually healed and everyone can move forward together. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jonathan May, ABC4 News. A man